Great designers know that it isn't just what you put in to a piece of art that gives it its life, but it's often knowing what to take away. Sometimes the real work isn't how much stuff you can cram into it, it's knowing what to take away to get down to the simple, pure, streamlined essence. And then you have something. There's this novel called Lust for Life, Irving Stone novel about the life of Vincent Van Gogh. And Van Gogh dedicated endless time to studying the work of other painters. And in one period, Van Gogh became deeply interested in the work of a painter named Boxboom. At one point, he's studying Boxboom's work. And, and Stone has Van Gogh coming to this realization. Boxboom's values, they were precise and exquisite. And Vincent learned that it is always the simplest piece of art which has practiced the most rigid elimination and is, therefore, the most difficult to reproduce. The simplest piece of art which has practiced the most rigid elimination. Mark Twain said, if I would have had more time, I would have said less. <laughs> Michelangelo said that his sculpture of David it was waiting, it was in the stone, and it was just clamoring to be free. Sculpting is, of course, the art of knowing what to take away.